Hi guys, I'm Ryan Crowley. And I'm Gary Kibbertson, and welcome to the first episode of the Freo Newsroom. On the Freo Newsroom, we will deliver you the Fremantle news before the game. Let's start with round one. Kraus, you made it over to Brisbane. How was it? Uh, obviously, it was a pretty tough game. It was good to get out there after four months of pre-season training and hard work. Uh, Jaden Pitt's first game, he managed to score a snag, the big guy. Uh, Nick Lower, good, good to play my first game with him, and he obviously played really well too. So, good game for the club and good to get the four points, and uh, look forward to Geelong this week. Crowds, we both made it out this week to do reporting. Can you tell us a little bit about what you got up to? Yeah, the uh, Frio Fundamentals Gala Day. Interviewed some, uh, some of the young kids and some of the young fans out there, and uh, we're going to throw to some of the footage now. Camera, you ready? You gonna give a big smile for camera? <laughs> Alright, ready? Hey mate, what's your name? Alan. Alan. And what school are you from, Alan? Year one. Yeah? And who's your favourite Dockers player? Um, Johnny. Johnny. Johnny the dog. Yeah, he's my favourite player too. Hi, what's your name? Isla. Hi, and what school are you from, Isla? Um, Obasa. Yeah? Are you having fun today? Yes. Yeah? And do you back for the Dockers? Yes. Yes, that's the right answer. And who's your favourite player? Matthew Pazzo. Say, say Ryan Crowley. Ryan Crowley. Hey, fantastic. Good work. Here at the uh, Freya Fundamentals Gala Day. And uh, what, what school are you from, mate? Like in the back of college. Fantastic. That's a good school, I've heard. And who's your favourite player? Aaron? <laughs> Aaron. He told me Aaron before. It's a big spider. So that's one for big spider, about five million for Pav. Having fun? Yep. Yeah, well, and what's your name? Noah. Uh, Noah. And do you for the Dockers, mate? Yes. I can see you do from the socks. They're fantastic socks. They're old socks, but they're fantastic. And uh, who's your favourite player? Sandy. Sandy. Big Sandy. That's two in a row for Big Sandy. He's killing it. So well done, mate. I hope you have fun today, and I'll come over and uh, we'll have a kick later on, all right? Bye. <laughs> see you, mate. And uh, what, what's your name, mate? Liam. Liam. Are you having a good day today, Liam? Yes. Lots of fun? Yes. Yeah. Uh, who you got on this big, big, big Johnny? Is he your favourite player, Big Johnny Griffin? Yes. Big Johnny Griffin is your favourite player. That's fantastic. All right, mate, you have a good day, and I'll come and talk to you later, all right? Here at the uh, Fremantle Fundamentals Gala Day, and who am I here with? What's your name, mate? Alex. Alex. You having fun today, Alex? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, do you back for Fremantle? Yeah. That's the right answer. And who's your favourite player, mate? You. You. High five. Z. All right, mate, I'll come and kick with you later. Good work. Here at the uh, Fre Fremantle Fundamentals Gala Day. And what's your name, young fella? Oh, I'm Chris. <laughs> and you having fun today, Chris? I'm having a lot of fun. And who's your favourite player, Chris? Oh, it's got to be Ryan Crowley. Oh, I knew I liked you, Chris. Good work. Just see if you can go out there and kick some goals, just like my favourite player. I'll try. No worries. See you, man. Good job there, mate. Looks like you're a real big hit with the kids. Speaking of kids, big gas. I heard you uh, made a little trip out to PMH this week. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? I can, yes. Uh, myself, Maddie DeBoer and Maney, who are all ambassadors for the Starlight Foundation, made our way out to PMH this week to see the kids. We obviously have our Starlight Foundation game, Purple Haze game, sorry, for this weekend. Uh, the boys will be wearing their purple kit and uh, all funds will go to the Starlight Foundation. Uh, we'll throw to the video now and you have a look. Finally, the most important news is this weekend's game. Let's throw to the match day info. So our Purple Haze match this week, proudly supported by the Fremantle Ports. Make sure you get around and donate to the Starlight. 
We'll have members of our development group out rattling tins, raising money for the Starlight Foundation. So get over to them, say hello and donate some money. Most importantly, we want everybody to wear their purple gear down to the game. We want a big sea of purple before when we take on Geelong on the weekend. Uh, before the game, try and head down to Gate 8 and visit the uh, guys from 92.9 and see if we get in the playoff competition. The team will be wearing a special purple jumper this week, which features a Starlight star on the chest. <laughs> now with these jumpers, everyone has a chance to take one home. The whole team's match-worn jumper will be auctioned off after the game and the link is shown at the bottom of the screen now. Make sure you get on and have a look. I think my jumper's up to about $100, which is a bit of a bargain if you ask me, Gaz, but uh, I don't think anyone's bid on yours yet. It's on $0. How does that make you feel? Bit flat? That's all right, mate. <laughs> I, I don't bid on my own jumper, mate, so the $100 that you put for your jumper doesn't really count. Yeah, I'm sure. I hope, hopefully someone will happy because I don't want to lose that 100 squids. But uh, if any, everyone could jump on board, uh, try, and, uh, get, try and get online and bid for Ibo's jumper and make him feel a bit better. So finally, we're taking on the Cats on the weekend, Gaz. Uh, what do you think uh, the keys to beating the Cats on the weekend? Uh, look, after watching them last week, I think a key for us is to try and really stop their offensive ball movement. They've been a really high-scoring team over the last few years, and I think after watching last week's game, uh, keeping them to a really low score will go a long way for us. Now, you, Krause, what do you reckon is the key to beating the Cats? Uh, the Cats have obviously, over the last few years, had a really strong midfield, so um, I think that'll be where the game's won or lost. So hopefully we get the ascendancy in the midfield and get big. Big Gary Sandlands get all over them and uh, tap down our throats and get the ball out of the middle a bit. So I think that's probably the key to us winning the game. Well, thanks everyone for tuning in to the first episode of the Freo Newsroom. Krause and I have really enjoyed ourselves and we hope that you do too. Uh, we're going to leave you now with the team for this weekend's game. Just a reminder to make it down to Patterson Stadium, 5.40pm tomorrow to cheer us on and wear purple. <laughs>